So, after that rage-filled moment right there, we have no music right here because it glitched out for Starlight Zone. And then it I came could, back. I could, I could make the music for you. Nah, I didn't. Oh. Do you put the music in? Uh, no, because I wanted to show that it glitched out. Because for some odd reason, my cartridge of this game, it glitches out like crazy. Now, you can notice that I have 14 lives now. That's because there is a glitch in this game that I just showed right there. See how that life's right there, right at the beginning of... Oh, that's the abusable one? That's the really abusable one. You can do it in Marble Zone as well. Uh, it works the best in Act 2 or Act 3. But it is highly abusable, and you can build up to 99 lives if you want. I didn't want to do that. I was still pissed off after everything that had happened inside of Labyrinth Zone, so I just built that up in case I would ever get another game over. Oh. And I just find it that that's a problem, like, that they kept that in without seeing possible side effects. Come on. It's abusable as hell. Then again, I am abusing Spin Dash in this game like hell, so what do I know? In the meantime, welcome to Starlight Zone, the only real level in this game that didn't have butchered music. Now, I mean, the original is still better, but this isn't as bad as some of the other mixes in this game. It's slightly compressed and such. Which is something I don't understand. Why would you compress the files in a system that's more powerful than what it's originally on? It's I don't know, because they got a... I have no excuse, honestly. I have no idea what, I, what the possibility could be. Unless Sonic the Hedgehog was somehow stronger than Sonic Advance or something, or the engine wasn't compatible, so they had to shrink it down. That's probably it, really. They had to shrink it down, or... <clears throat> I do something to it to make it fit with the, uh, the whole engine. Well, actually, no, because there is the Sonic Genesis done right, which is a perfect one-to-one -one translation of this game, and music is intact. Huh. Yeah. Well, I got nothing, then. <laughs> What's even better? Uh, during the credit sequence, when it plays uh, the music inside it, it plays remixes that are different than the ones that play in the levels. In fact, the remixes are better than these ones. Well, I got nothing, then. <laughs> Here was me, I was trying to get uh, more rings because it's like, oh, I'm already at the end of the stage. Because, I mean, I didn't even get that much slowdown. I will say Starlight Zone is probably one of the better handled zones in this game, which is good. actually pretty cool well, because, no, you did it in like a minute 43. Didn't give it enough time to have slowdown. Well, it still had slowdown, considering what I would agree, but not as much as the other ones. Especially not as much. Oh, this level. Travis, you know what's the funnest thing ever? Uh, playing a good game? Uh, besides that... Um, eating 10,000 chili dogs? Mm, have fun with that. Uh, <laughs> no! Why, it's seesaws! Don't you just love them? Oh yeah, the seesaws, I remember them now. Yep. Those are weird. They based, they're based off momentum! Guess what this game fails at doing? Everything momentum based. Exactly! Now, I think we're gonna see at least one seesaw here. If not, then you're gonna be seeing a good majority of them in the next stage. Now, what I was trying to do right there is, because of how the physics are in this game, it is possible if you are rolling or you do a spin dash to where you can skip a good majority of this level. Because... As in what? Just, like, based on momentum? Like, constant speed? Because of how the screen crunches and how fast the screen moves, for some odd reason, you will end up farther in the stage than you should actually be. Uh, the best example would be Brain Scratch to run on it. That's where I got the idea to try it. Uh, the first time. And barely dodged that one. Yeah, I know. I was like, uh, I don't want to deal with blowing up four <laughs> Um, Johnny was the one that did the playthrough of it. Ah, uh, there's a seesaw that we all know and love. Uh, I, I want to see how this one works. This one. Oh, dear. <laughs> wow. Luckily, I'm managing to hit it, but part of the problem is because Sonic still moves forward, even if you slightly tap it. Oh, bye. You gotta. <gasps> You gotta watch out where your hitboxes for like what you're stepping on seems really weird. It's wonk it's wonky. It, it, this is how it was in Sonic One. It's why I'm not a fan of the seesaws at all. Thank you, Hilltop Zone. Um, that's clearly what I wanted to relive. <laughs> but it's not coming down though. <laughs> yeah, it, it, they go. That took a while to come down. Yeah, that was the slowdown. I thought it wasn't coming down for a second. Yeah. Well, well I guess you're stuck here. Oh, God damn it. Now I'm trying to get up here because. Free special stage, because it's the last special stage in the game. So, because I've missed three Chaos Emeralds, 
the first Chaos Emerald that it would give me is the pink one stage. And I don't know about you, I think that pink Chaos Emerald's pretty damn important. Let's throw, robot let's throw it in a robotic's face. It's not an emerald, it's just, an, it's just a big old uh, sharp rock. That's why Sonic wants it. That's why Sonic wants it's it. It's gonna do the most damage. That's what most of these face. And I'm just inching forward right here because I just want to spin dash inside of them. That's why. I want to make sure so that I can spin dash and get the 10,000 points. With a 1,000 right at the top for some odd reason. Instead of 10,000. He just reversed it. Pretty much. So that's Act 1 and 2, which are pretty easy. Uh, we don't start Scrap Brain in this part. To my knowledge. We don't start Scrap Brain in this part. Travis, look at how much time we have left. Wait, we just, we just did Act 2, right? Yeah. What the hell are you going to do for the next 10 minutes? Guess what Act 3 is filled with? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's right! Seesaws! It, it misses you up that much? Yes! Good God! Oh, my. Yep. I am not good with seesaws. Believe me. I am not good with them at all. I can see that button in 10 minutes on, left on the video. <sighs> Fuck seesaws. Fuck them. Just, just, just screw them. Especially with how some of the placement was. I believe I ended up dying here. I love how I don't die in Act 1 or 2 of the last zone. But Act 3 just kicks my ass. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I make it up with Scrap Brain. So here's me. Uh, seesaws. Oh, God damn it! Well, I tried. <laughs> I tried everything. Out of my way, Orbanauts. Gonna use invincibility frame to kill you. Alright, now I know there's some rings up there, so can I go and get these rings? No, I can't, okay? Screw your momentum. Let's go, Seesaws! Did you know that Starlight Zone's music has actually been played in other like, video games? In terms of Mario and Sonic and Olympic games, apparently it was also there. For whatever reason. I wouldn't be surprised. Starlight Zone... Honestly, Starlight Zone, compared to like Sonic 1 music, when it comes to the Zone ones, I like Starlight Zone better than Green Hill. I've always loved Starlight Zone's music. It's so relaxing. Blasphemy. It's it's so relaxing. I just really yeah, I can see that. It's even this even this version which has shit music. Uh, there's me deciding uh well. Try attempting fate, Eric. Didn't work. Yes, I know, and I want my ring back, but I don't get my rings. I think you can tell how this is gonna end. Yeah. <sighs> so apparently, this song was also remixed for Sonic Advance in the player's name and records menu. Uh, that I do remember. Yeah. Okay, there it is. I'm like, where are you? There you are. <laughs> All right. Where are you going? Time for more seesaws, Travis. Ow. And down I fall. Back at the beginning of the stage. Okay, so I can see where this part's going. <laughs> That's where I just said, you know what? I'm just going to start oh. at the beginning. Just go back to there and do it again. Too much time. Well, then. That's where I just said. I, I'm Thank God you're not ranked in the original games. Or I'll show you what I got in a knee. That's a good point. Not that I, I, I... This was at least 06 in, you know, uh, Unleashed drink, yeah, rankings. Yeah, Unleashed rankings were kind of... Generations. Oh, you went fast? Here's an S rank. Oh, what's that? You went slow? Have a B. <laughs> B for bad. That's only in the other port. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty much uh, that also shows off, like, pretty much it saves your current progress. I didn't even get on that one that time. It saves your progress where it is, so it won't show the Starlight Zone, like, Act 3 again. Really, at this point, I I was telling myself, okay, at the end... What hit me? Eric, you use the seesaw. You do not become the seesaw. <laughs> Maybe if I become part of it, I will be able to find out its secrets. <laughs> uh, so be how the seesaw. Be the seesaw. Actually function with the fucking seesaw. I did that actually on purpose because then I can kill him. Thank God, enemies don't. Tactical respawn. playing, Eric. No, that is legitimately what I did. Yeah, no. Because invincibility frames will kill these orbanauts and fuck these orbanauts. Oh my God, I hate seesaws. See, Sonic's even grasping his head. Why do I have to platform based on seesaws? Just make it end, player. I was. It was funny too because I think at this point I think it was like. Uh, gonna be around 10 o'clock. I was waiting. I'm going, okay, I'm just gonna end it off after Starlight Zone. I had originally told myself I was gonna end it off after Labyrinth Zone. I'm gonna end it off after Starlight Zone. Uh, 
next thing I know, it was the rest of the game. It's like an addict. I'll stop after this when I swear! That's pretty much me whenever I'm playing a long JRPG. I almost fell off of that. Look at how the- I thought you were gonna fall off. Look at how this fucking momentum is. Fuck seesaws! Okay, I was bull. I am trying my damnedest. No! No! Oh! <laughs> no! Get me back up! Give me my prize! I earned it! I had to fight the physics! I earned it! <laughs> this would make Newton cry. Mine! Well, guess what? Oh, you stop like right your. Wow. Yep, back at the beginning. Eric, what are you doing? I'm just done with life. <laughs> I'm just done. I'm just done with you. I'm sorry. Seesaws, me, not fun. Ugh. Come on. Momentum, work! Oh my god, you worked that time. Let's oh, go. Bye. Let's go two for two. You shoot up like a rocket, I swear. I it's random how you shoot up. You can... I am not kidding you, am I not? Look at nah, this! because at times when the thing went down, you should have went flying. But then you just kind of like face jumped. You, if there's a bomb there, you'd be dead. I know. Fuck screen crunch. Oh look, I get to get up with more seesaws! Good thing this boss also uses seesaws. Oh wait, the screen crunches so much, Robotnik is placed further down. So you actually don't need to use the seesaws in the boss at all. Well, why even bother making the game mechanic for a level if you're not even gonna use it in the boss? Or use it properly. Yeah, use it properly. Thank you, Hilltop Zone. I really wanted to see these again. I will give Hilltop Zone credit though. They at least somewhat work in that one. Alright, the hard part is over. Now let me go faster while going up an incline. It's like, um, that somewhat reminds me of in Sonic Adventure, when you go up the stairs. Oh, right! You remember that? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, well, when you're going up the stairs in, like, the past, you go, like, terminal velocity within a few seconds. Look at that clipping. Wow, that's not even... That's, that's, that's clear clipping. That's, yeah, I was about to say. It's like, there's no way around that. That's completely blatant clipping. I mean, the other ones, it could be nitpicky, like, oh, that's just a, you know, like, small one. That is clear, blatant clipping. Yeah. That's, that's bad. Oh, well, at least we're almost done with this stage. Thank God. Oh, look, seesaws! Well, we tried. We Game over, Eric. Zoom! Oh, God damn it! You fell. Fuck. Seesaws! Okay, there it is. <laughs> now go even higher. Send you the space. And I don't know why, for some odd reason, Sonic ends up going at the oddest angles. Like, he's doing the I'm on an edge animation, but he's... Because the hitboxes on that seesaw is, like, really, really weird. Oh, just what we wanted. Seesaws for a boss, right? Oh, hi, Robotnik. Gonna do anything? Okay, I should probably get going now. <clears throat> <laughs> He clearly did not. Like, oh shit, we're starting. <laughs> I'm still finishing my lunch. I actually hit him with the bomb too. Ow! Why couldn't you just do this boss properly, huh? Because he's so far down, I can literally jump into him. Because what they do for the bosses in this game is they it's the screen crunch, and as a result, they lower the boss down. That's how I'm able to pretty much give him no chance. Pull a chemical plant. You know, a chemical plant, uh, zone 2 boss, and I'm out of rings, and there's a bomb right next to me. Do not kill me. Thank you. God. <laughs> I'm done. If that ended you, that would have been the best. No, I still think the Robotnik, with everything in Labyrinth Zone, is still the best death. So, that takes care of this zone, which means we only have one zone and one episode left, because I combined Final Zone with Scrap Brain. See you then. Gonna get scrapped next part, that's for sure.